You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Hey everyone, I'm Kristen Carroll with AfterBuzz TV and I am here at Dolby Theater for the Paley Fest of American Horror Story Coven. We're talking to the cast and I'm going to try to get the inside scoop for you guys on season four. Was it now finally, last time I saw you, you couldn't tell us anything about the show. How was it I now? Know, it was but... amazing. Everything, everything pulled off really great. At first, I had, at first, at certain times, I had suspicions and fears, but everybody there really helped me conquer them. Uh, it's just kind of fun because, you know, you see the special effects and, and you see what's going on behind the scenes, so it's more fun. It's either fun or tiring, one of the two. You know, if you're on your 12th hour, you're like, okay, all right, let's get this weird seat out of the way, all right. Um, or you just think this is really cool. How was it this past season? I mean, you had so many talked about scenes. <laughs> Man, and Minotaur, yeah, yeah shooting I'm yourself in the head. I totally forgot that. Yeah, some Minotaur business went down. Yeah, that is some <laughs> serious business out here. You had the coolest stunts, though. How was it filming all this? It was really fun. I always felt like a suit. I felt like GI Joe. I felt like 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 I was like Channing Tatum or something, <laughs> or Tom Cruise. I felt like an action star. You had some really crazy scenes last season. Was there ever a moment you're like, Brian, I don't know if we should go that far. You know, I kind of jumped into American Horror Story being like, I'm going to have to do stuff that is out of my comfort zone, but I'm just going to have to do it. And um, I, I loved the character in the show so much that it kind of just made it fun and challenging as an actress. Like, I've gotten to do stuff that I feel like, you know, people would never expect of me, and that's really fun. So how is it now that the season's over? You can finally talk about it. I know. I have a tongue. That was one of the most cringeworthy scenes when you took out your tongue. How was it filming that? You know, funnily enough, I um, I had two knives for that. I had two razors. One was a dull razor, one was a sharp razor. And the dull one you use to do the gag, you know. And then the sharp one you use not to do the gag, but just to show that it's, that it's real. It's real. That's sharp, yeah. And I wanted to have the sharp one during the other scenes, but I also wanted to kind of like intimate I was doing it. And I went too far, and I actually nicked my tongue. And then for this last season, and even season two, you had a love and like love triangle going on. Is that something you asked Brian about? Like, hey. No, I was like, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> this is super awkward. How well, cool is it working again with Thaisa and then great. with Emma? Yeah, it was great working with Thaisa though. She's she's a sweetheart and a really great actress, so it was fun to work with her. You had such a hottie for we call him a boyfriend on the show. I know, I know. Luke, Alex Draymond. We, I interviewed him last time too. He couldn't have been any nicer. How was it working? He is incredible. He has, is a major supporter as well with a lot of stuff. Even though I was in fear with, with some stuff, I'm working with him sometimes. Cause it's hard to work with certain people sometimes that are new. But honestly, it turned out great. Is that something that Ryan said? By the way, Jamie, we're giving you a love interest, or were you like, hey, hey, Ryan? I was shocked actually, cause I didn't really didn't. Hear about it from Ryan directly. I actually read it. Now I gotta ask you about season four. You're signed on, right? Yes, 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 yes. I had such a good time that I'm ready to be, get my freak on. Has Ryan Murphy already talked to you about what he wants for you? Oh, no, 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 not yet. And and I just have confidence that it's gonna be okay. So if he likes it, I love it. With Ryan's imagination as rich as it is, I mean, there's no limit to what's gonna be on this show. I mean, I just. It'll be very interesting to read the first episode and, and see what everybody's playing. I know Freak Show's gonna be so cool. I am, um, you know, I, I, have no, I have no idea. I don't even know if I'm coming back, but I hope so. Uh, as far as the Freak Show, yeah. I, I mean, it's, it's gonna be amazing. I love that it's period. I think that that's really, really cool. And I love that every season kind of goes from like contemporary to period and it kind of keeps it exciting. Ryan gives you a great challenge. And I think that's what it is. And he also likes to give you like heavy makeup on your face. Do you think, would you, if you do season four, that that's something that, that'll continue? Well, here, my, my season one, I had three and a half hours in the makeup chair. Uh, season three, I had an hour and a half in the makeup chair. So maybe if I'm in season four, it'll be a half hour. You're just cutting it down each season. Honestly, it, it, I don't really know what Ryan has in mind for this. <laughs> but I want to do it. I really do. I, I really emphasize I'm wanting to do it. I, I have a feeling it, it may be a little bit like Asylum, but not too intense as Asylum. 
and I never really had the chance to do it, and I really want to do it. I'm Kristen Carroll for AfterBuzz TV.